What is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. This is my first episode of the Pro Wrestling Crate. I just recently finally took the plunge on the uh, one year um, subscription. I guess you can say prepaid. Um, it came out to uh, one price and I kept on mulling over if I was going to do it. And then once I finally was like, all right, let's take the plunge. Let's make the purchase. We got a little bit of money saved up to the uh, overtime that we've been working since this whole thing started. Um, then found out there was shipping on top of that. And that was a little bit of a decision that went down like a late night unboxing. A lot like my last WWE one where I picked up these uh, shirts and more shirts came that I remembered ordering. But um I thought about it. Um, WWE Shop honestly hasn't been making as, as many cool shirts as uh, the wrestling past. And Pro Wrestling Tees each and every month keep pumping out more and more designs for more wrestlers that I like. Each month they come up with this Pro Wrestling Crate. I watch unboxings. And the two shirts that come in here are always a pretty good value. On top of that, um, they're only available for the limited time in here. It's not like you can see somebody... Uh, like a salt and battery, open up uh, a shirt and be like, I want to buy that. Because unless somebody puts it up on eBay because they don't want it, you can't get it. That's all you're going to get. So here we are. We're busting open this pro wrestling crate. Uh, this one, I believe, has the America theme. I can remember that it has Dusty Rhodes, Cody Rhodes, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I don't know how to do this. I was just going to rip the side because I don't think I have to keep the box. And just like that. And uh, everything will come sliding out. I guess it's easier if you cut the box like I see most people do because it comes with the uh, the thing here is your uh, boom, USA, USA uh, stuff in there. And then we're going to come out with the, uh, the first shirt on top. Looks like a fun shirt. Can honestly say, I don't know if I'm going to wear this shirt, but we got... With the bionic elbow from Dusty Rhodes right there. Very entertaining, the American dream. When you think of the USA, there's not very many wrestlers you think about that bleed the red, white, and blue more um, than uh, Dusty Rhodes. And then we're going to go with Kurt Angle. Right off the bat, you suck with the American flag background. Not really big about faces on t-shirts, especially cartoonish. One, so I'm not going to say that this is the best one that I've ever got. Um, we're going to come out of the gates with the uh, the Hacksaw Jim Duggan uh, brawler. Pretty cool right there. Mine's already open for me. I was going to keep these sealed, but I guess they've already made their mind up for me. But these things are honestly pretty cool. And I went to the Pro Wrestling Tea Store in Chicago when I went on my AEW trip. Uh, that was one of the places that I honestly told Mike that I wanted to go. I didn't pick up a lot of these when I was there, um, but I did pick up um, a few. And um, I'm looking forward to starting um, a collection of these guys. Um, then we're going to go with the pin, expl uh, exclusive uh, pro wrestling collector's pin. This one is Lex Luger posing with the uh, the USA flag and the USA um, Lex Express. That's honestly what I was really hoping um, the t-shirt was going to be. Um, we got a sticker from Cody Rhodes. We can all stick it right here on our necks. We can have a little um, American Nightmare Cody Rhodes tattoos. Uh, and then we have a comic book, uh, Tales from the Road, um, Sergeant Slaughter, Kingston Hills, Norman Bashley, five hours in a car should be a breeze. Tales from the Road Headlocks, April 2020. They had 60 Minute Wars in the ring. I don't know what to really um, think of these. Is this, are these like Sergeant Slaughter stories that they've made into a comic book? America's most popular hero, Russia's most hated villain, 300 miles of highway. I have no idea what the hell this thing is because the, the pictures in here, that's not even starting to slaughter. I don't know. Whatever. Move on to the next thing. Probably never look at Oh, that's the end of it. Um, oh, we got the autograph. I'm going to say, I'm going to come out and I'm going to say the autograph has to be Flip Gordon. 
So I think he was the only guy on the box. Well, I don't think Hogan was on there. Yeah, I'm right. Flip Gordon, autograph, coming off the top rope with the United States flag right under Bully Ray. Right there. It's honestly a really cool picture. Flip Gordon, the most I know about him is from being the elite. But um, I, know, I know that he really tried hard to get into the... Uh, he tried to get booked for the uh, the Battle Royal, which he ended up winning and then got a shot uh, for the ROH title, wrestling against Jay Lethal. I think that was at all in. But, um, yeah, I uh, can honestly tell you my favorite thing that came out of there was probably the Flip Gordon autograph. Um, the Hacksaw Jim Duggan Brawler, probably second. Um, I'll probably end up sticking this uh, Cody Rhodes sticker onto my laptop. Um, and these t-shirts... The dusty one, you'll probably see me wear, thinking that it's kind of funny. Um, but uh, after that, it's pretty, the, the Kurt Angle one, I don't think so. Uh, next month is going to be a really good box. It's going to be Top Sellers. It's going to feature John Moxley, Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega, CM Punk, Mick Foley, The Young Bucks, Hangman Adam Page, Marty Scroll, and Zack Ryder. It's already been announced. Uh, that Zack Ryder is going to be the brawler um, for next month's box. Um, uh, a member of the uh, the Stomp uh, guys that, that they uh, talk about on their wrestling podcast. And then Brian Myers. Um, well, it's just, he's, he can't be Zack Ryder anymore, I guess. I guess he has to go by Matt Cardona. The cards are probably already printed out. But, <laughs> um, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to those. those. Those, honestly, in my opinion, will be well worth the price of the box. Um, top sellers, uh, when I've watched people unbox them in the past, they're top sellers because they're easily the uh, the best ones um, that, that Pro Wrestling Tees had, you know, make stuff for. It, 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 it already says itself. I mean, they, 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 they sell more stuff than anybody on the, uh, on the site. So looking forward to that one. Let me know what you guys think. Pro Wrestling Crate, this is the first of 12. So we'll see where we go from here. Peace out, guys.